Hello everybody, and tonight we are going to catch a comet. That's right. Tonight we are going to photograph Comet Leonard passing through M3, a globular cluster. Super excited about tonight. My name's Trevor, and you're watching Astro Pilot. So some quick facts about Comet Leonard itself. It's on its track towards the Sun right now and it's around a magnitude 6 in the visual scale and it's estimated the orbital period of this comet is 70 to 80,000 years. It was discovered back in January of 2021 by someone with the last name of Leonard. So he got his name on a giant space rock lucky him and right now it is making its way back towards the Sun and it's predicted to get a gravity assist maneuver by Venus and get shot out of the solar system into interstellar space that is pretty cool so this will be the last time we ever see this comet not that we'd see it in 80,000 years anyway but really cool um, I've never photographed a comet with this telescope the last time I tried was with Comet Neowise with a camera lens, and I did pretty good. Um, that was an awesome visual skill uh, t comet to see. Um, I don't really think that Comet Leonard will get that bright, but who knows? It might be possible, but I'm doubtful. Um, but right now, from the images I've seen online, it has a really nice greenish um, halo around it from um, the ice and gases melting off of it as it travels at 94,000 miles per hour. So, as well, its orbit is 32,000 astronomical units across. So, a huge, huge orbit. Um, but at 1 a.m., I'm gonna point my telescope towards the M3 globular cluster and catch Comet Leonard passing through the field of frame Hopefully get a good time lapse as well as a nice finished stacked image as well. I plan on shooting 3 minute exposures with the ASI 2600 MC Pro and the Xenostar 61 to get some good images of Comet Leonard. So follow along with me tonight and hopefully by the end of this video you're going to see an awesome picture of this approaching comet in our solar system. Real quick before we go any further, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting this YouTube channel and I can't believe the growth of it. We're reaching 1,200 subscribers, views are going up like crazy, and subscribe for more. If you want to see more astrophotography, new processing tutorials, new gear, all that stuff, hit that subscribe button right now and you will not be let down. Subscribe to Astropilot. So I think we're pretty well in focus. I've never focused on the Star Series with a baton off mask, I don't believe. I'm taking a 10 second exposure right now just to see how the baton off pattern looks. It'll probably look crazy. Wow! Now that is what I call focused. Wow, that is actually really cool. I've never done that before. That's crazy. So, okay. That step is done, the camera and telescope is focused. Okay everybody, it is 2 a.m. I just got back outside and Comet Leonard might just be high enough over the trees to start uh, framing up on it and see how it looks.
So I'm all framed up on Comet Leonard with M3 globular cluster in the background. I'm taking my first three minute exposure. I've got about 55 seconds left now. And I've already seen a couple test shots and it's pretty amazing to see um, the comet. So should be pretty cool to see. It just peaked up above the trees, so I'm still shooting over a lot of, uh, through a lot of atmosphere, and that will get better through the night. I should be able to get around three hours of time on this comet, so stay tuned till the end of the video to see the final image and possibly a uh, time lapse of its transit. All right, 10 seconds left now for the first three minute exposure. Okay, here we go. Okay, we'll do an auto stretch. And look at that. That is amazing. Wow. That is really cool. So, there is Comet Leonard right there with M3, the globular cluster, right there at it. You can see some pretty faint. Uh, uh, comet uh, trailing our tail there. The uh, that's pretty much just melting ice and other gases as it gets closer to the sun. So Comet Leonard is blazing its way through the inner solar system right now, and by the end of this month, it'll be on its way out into interstellar space. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I do have a tad bit of trailing I am guiding right now at 1.4 so it should be pretty good but I can't wait to see what a final image of this is gonna look like and I'm I'm really happy with the field of view I wasn't for sure because I didn't check on Stellarium or anything um, with my scope but it is actually a pretty nice field of view and I can crop that down to about like that so that is very that is very cool so I'm gonna continue imaging throughout the night on Comet Leonard okay guys so it is three o'clock in the morning and I'm currently still shooting on Comet Leonard um, just to see that with Messier 13 globular cluster and that comet tail going through there is really amazing so I'm really happy with how this has gone tonight I am gonna go in and go to bed I have the uh, rest of the imaging sequence automated so that's none of my concern anymore so I'm gonna wrap this video up I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed this process of capturing Comet Leonard and it's only gonna get brighter and I might be able to get some more images on it later this month if it clears up. This is the one clear night here in the next uh, week or so. So, once again, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support that you've given me for this YouTube channel. If it wasn't for this YouTube channel and sharing astrophotography with you guys, it wouldn't be the same. YouTube and sharing the whole process of astrophotography makes the whole experience that much better. So. As always, thank you for watching Astro Pilot, and don't forget to subscribe and clear skies.